Forecast in Central Texas. This is Fox 44 weather with Chief Meteorologist Mike LaPointe. Tornado watch is out right now, includes Waco, Temple and Colleen. That goes until 10 o'clock tonight. But once again, we'll keep an eye on the situation here. These have been very isolated, severe thunderstorms moving through parts of our area. Kind of a broad brush with the tornado watch right now. So once again, not everybody will see severe weather. Matter of fact, on our exclusive Viper Radar, always quiet. We've had some severe weather out in parts of Coriel County, the northern part of Bell County, but a lot of that has weakened as well. It's tracking off to the east, mainly some shower activity at this moment. You don't even see any lightning out there. So we are watching that once again. That is staying just to the south of the Waco area, but the humidity has been really bad out there. These temperatures upper 80s, lower 90s. We've got 90 degrees right now in Hillsboro, 88 in Waco. It's 87 in College Station, but look at the heat index. What does it feel like? It feels like 102 right now in Hillsboro, 100 in the Temple area, 97 in College Station, and Burnett has a current heat index of 102 degrees. Take a look at our future cast. Once again, the computer models kind of having a, a tough time with this forecast here. We're dealing with the isolated severe weather, but we're also talking about a cap on top of us and dew point temperatures, meaning the moisture in the air. It's been in the upper 70s, so very, very humid. So as I put this into motion, a lot of it weekend. They're all generated here in our area with the heat of the day. By midnight, most of the active weather will be up in East Texas, kind of sliding off to the east and southeast, but falling apart. So as we start the day tomorrow, mainly cloudy skies, another very humid start, low to mid 70s as you step out the door. But as we hit the afternoon, we're going to see some rounds of showers and isolated storms move through. This is at midday, maybe a possibility of some uh, hail as well as some stronger winds up around the Hillsboro area. Little break in the action and the actual cold front begins to move in and that produces some spotty showers and storms that if they do go up could be strong to severe here across parts of our area. It's out of here and uh, we're talking by early on Friday. Friday, that drier and that air that uh, doesn't have a lot of moisture in it moves in, so it's going to feel much better across the region with temperatures basically in the mid to upper 70s by the evening. But any shower or thunderstorm that comes through tomorrow, even around noontime, but a better chance later on in the afternoon and evening, had the possibility of being strong to severe here across our region. Our main threat tomorrow afternoon and early evening would be large hail. So we'll keep an eye on that as well as the flooding. We've had all that rainfall lately. Anything that we get will aggravate the ground. So flooding I've got in the high category can't rule out strong winds, winds over 60 miles per hour and even an isolated tornado can't be ruled out, especially this time of the year. So uh, just keep your guard up. If you don't see anything tonight, and I don't think most of us will see anything tomorrow afternoon. There's a little bit better chance here across our area. So here's the forecast for tonight. Just a 30% chance of some severe storms popping up. Otherwise quiet conditions, mostly cloudy and humid 72. And then tomorrow, partly sunny skies. Once again, it's going to be humid. 50% chance of showers and storms. One little batch over the lunchtime period, but a better chance late afternoon and evening as the front begins to move in. 86 degrees will be your high temperature. Here's the long range 10 day forecast brought to you by the Alliance Electrical Group. See drier air moves in and there it is much better on Friday and Saturday upper 70s for highs. We will see a chance of scattered showers, maybe a garden variety thunderstorm, but nothing out of the ordinary right now on Mother's Day, 73 degrees. Next week, back into the uh, upper 70s to low to mid 80s here. Pretty typical for this time of the year. Some hit and miss showers and storms possible on Monday. Nighttime lows will be in the 60s and then down toward Bryan and College Station. We'll keep an eye on the showers and storms tomorrow because some of these might be strong to severe. Not everybody will see it, kind of like what we're seeing out there tonight, but we're all included, right? And then dry weather Friday and Saturday with a chance of some showers, an isolated storm, not looking for severe weather on Mother's Day. And then next week, we're going to climb those temperatures back into the 80s, maybe a few 90s along the way with lows in the 60s and 70s.